Hello, this is Dragonclaw103 coming at you with a tutorial on Advanced Region Market, otherwise known as ARM. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a region setup using World Edit, World Guard, and the ARM plugin by Alex9849. This is a very good plugin to look into. If you haven't already, I would suggest doing it. Now, what I'm going to show you uh, today is just a typical setup for a region uh, for renting, selling, contracting, whatever, and everything you can do as far as setting up and restoring and all this. So, to start with, I've got the world edit wand, so slash slash wand, and I'm going to pick my two corners of my plot. How I set my, um, I, I do city plots. And just like a regular city, you go into all the buildings are different heights, different widths, all this kind of stuff. There's different shapes. So a lot of people like to pick those two corners and then they'll use the vert command to take it all the way down to bedrock and all the way to sky. So I don't like doing that myself. You could do it if you want to, but I'm going to show you how I set them up. I like to lay out my city and kind of visualize how my city looks like from a distance and set up different heights for my buildings. So I've got my two corners, my flat corners. Right now the region is just one block high. Uh, it doesn't go down, it doesn't go up, it's just there. So I will use the expand command to, that's a world edit command, and I, um, I'm gonna use like 30 blocks going up and the second number will be the reverse of the direction that you're building this region. So up is the direction that I'm going. So I'm going 30 up, but in the reverse direction, I'm going five. So it's 30 space, five space U. And enter. And you can see that my visual effect now goes up to 30 blocks. If I was to dig down, it would go down five blocks. Now the region itself, Let's, uh, let's do a region claim at this point. Test 10. Uh, this you don't normally see. This is something that I do for my server. Uh, so a new region has been claimed named test 10. Now the region are the selections that I use with my wand, the two corners, right now is what it has uh, in the, the software saying this, that says region. So what you have to do since we did the expand command, is do region redefine and the region name. So now it takes this whole area as being part of that region. Now this is still a world guard region. It is not an arm region yet. When you use the sign to create your space, and I'm going to use, uh, I'm just going to do this as a rental space. So arm dash rent, the name of the server world, which mine is just name world. So I'll just do that. The name of the region on the third line. And since this is a rental property, you have price, the amount of time you want to rent it for, and then the extended time. So I'm going to rent this for say a hundred semicolon. 100 per day, so 1D for day. You got uh, seconds, minutes, days, weeks. So it'd be the first initial of each of those. So S, M, D, or W, semicolon. And I want them to be able to extend it for seven days per se. So they can rent this for $100 per day and extend it for seven days. Um, each day that, as it counts down, even if they've got down to four days left on that, they can still extend it up to seven days. All right, so let's create that. And it now says down here, region sign has been created and region has been added to ARM. So now ARM recognizes this as a region. All right, so let's do something here. Let's say that I want them to be able to rent this with an existing building. So let's put a building in here. I've made my region. I'm gonna put a building up. I'm not gonna build the whole thing. I'm just gonna do a makeshift uh, border of a building here. 
and say, okay, this is what I want people to be able to rent. Okay, let's say we got a building in there and they can rent it. Well, let me first remove myself from this region because I won't be able to test it for you without uh, with me being an owner. So uh, remove myself as owner and I'm going to de-opt myself as an operator of the server. So now I'm just a regular player. So as a regular player, I cannot break anything. I cannot place anything because I do not own or rent this region yet. So I could do outside of it, but not in it. So let me go to the sign here and right click on it. Now you see it says rented uh, by Dragon Claw. It doesn't have room for the whole name for $100 per day. And it, should it clicks down every two seconds counting down the number of uh, time that's left. So now as the renter, I can go in. Remember a little while ago, I couldn't break anything. I couldn't place anything, but now I can. So let's say that I've had this property for a while. I no longer want it. So I either let the time run down or I could do a sell back. Some region, some servers, will have a sell back percentage. So when the player sells back the property, they can get a certain percentage of money back. So I'm gonna do arm, sell back, and enter. Well, I have to add the region name. All right, so arm, sell back, region name. Now, what happened? All right, notice that the building, the original building that I had in here is no longer here, but all the holes that I made, uh, they've been filled up. So, what, is, what happens is, is when you create an ARM region, it makes a schematic of everything that is within your region borders. So, may drink all the server operator. Um, and you add a building in here. After the region has been created, you've made a change to that region, okay? When I originally made this region, there was nothing inside of it. The only thing uh, from this ground level down, you know, it was all full of dirt and stone and whatever else is in there, but it did not have anything inside here. It did not have a building. So what you have to do is do arm update schematic and the region name. Now it has taken this, anything that's built in here as part of the region. So let me de out myself again. And I can place here, I cannot place here, I can break here, I cannot break there because I am currently not renting this space. So I can't do anything to any of that. So let me do the same thing. Go over here, rent. Now I can break, I can place, I can break all of this. All right. And again, let's say the person's tired of it. They've made a mess of everything. They've got columns all over the place. Um, basically it's like grief. They may have turned, took some of the supplies and moved it to another location. All right. So then they sell back the region to the server. Yes. Now it has gone back to how the schematic is originally set up in the region. Okay. So if you want to make a change, let's say you want to change up and say you want to put a, a porch on this or something. Let me out myself again. All right, I'm opted again, so now I can make the changes on here. Let me just dig out a little area and say I want to put a porch out here or something. I mean. Of course, you would do something a little bit more decorative of what I'm doing here. I'm just doing something a little bit uh, basic just to, to show the differences. Uh, let's say that there may be a pond over here. All right, so there we go. We got a pond. All right, so as, a, as the owner, as the operator, I would come in here again, I'd make whatever changes, and I would go back and do another update schematic. 
So I've updated the schematic. It says schematic updated. Now I'm going to de out myself again. So now I'm like a regular player. I can't place. I can't break. But I come in here, click the sign to rent. I can break. I can place. I can change anything that's in here. I can fill that up to remove the water. Do whatever changes I want to in here. Okay? I've rented the space. All right, let's do that again to where I sell back the property. I've updated the region. I want to do a sell back. Yes. And it returns it back to the original. The building, the house would be here, the porch, the pond with the, the fish. Um, all of it returned back to normal. Ready for the next person to rent. All right. Well, I hope that helps out in setting up a region uh, for buy, sell, contract. Uh, basically, the information is pretty much the same. You can go to the um, Advanced Region Market plugin website. Uh, he's got each of the signs with spoilers on there. Just open them up, and it shows you what goes on each of the lines. Basically, it's a lot of the same thing. Arm dash, rent, sell, or contract. The world name on the second sign, the region name on the on the third, and for rent you got the price, uh, for how much time, and how much extended time you want. Well, this Dragon Claw 103 on ARM plugin, advanced region market.